Dear Toastmasters, friends, guests, today I'm going to talk about painting, my favorite subject. Pictures can talk, but the question is what they are talking about. Do we really understand it? Imagine, you are in an art museum, you walk through the halls, see lots of pictures on the walls, some of them you like, some of them you don't. And then you found yourself in front of the picture which you cannot really ignore. <laughs> I have many questions. What? Is it a joke? Is he, is he just crazy guy? Why it's here? You try to find answers for the question, try to read the talk, listen, smart whispering of your neighbors, and then, next moment, the crowd of the visitors, probably from Japan, come to the picture and the guides start to talk. You see this uh, masterpiece of Dali, painted in 1944. Uh, this is a dream of his wife Gala, but her dream is not stable. It's fragile, like these strange legs of the elephant. Also, at the bottom, you can see the bee and the fruit, the only object of reality. Then, the gala hear the bee. She, she, she hears be, the bee, and she is naked. She, is, she feels unprotected in front of those tigers. And this rifle, this touch of the rifle, is kind of bite of the bee. And then, next moment, Gala tried to remove the bee, read it off, and wake up. You say, hmm, interesting, but why I didn't see it before? The issues with the language. The language of painting. That's not all girls clear for us what they are talking about. Let me explain why. And I'd like to make an analogy with the literature. When you read the book, first you have to translate the symbols and understand what that is about. And the next step is really enjoying the, the, the reading. The next step is feeling how good it is. For painting, the picture is slightly different. When you see the picture, immediately you feel it, at least to the level like or don't like. For normal life, it is enough. But if you'd like to make a stop, step deeper to understand it in a much more deeper level, you have to translate it, which is difficult, which just takes an effort, and then understand. That's the difference. But also, I believe that you can feel much deeper and interesting if you if you understand it better. It's kind of cycle. It is look here. Okay? Also, I strongly believe that if that subject, I mean painting, is interesting for you, I think you can learn it by yourself easily. And that's really enjoyable joining. First you need to have attention. That's very easy. Like for learning any language, you need to have attention. Then you need to have a little bit of imagination. It's kind of game of associations. The third one is open view. Do not reject if you do not understand it from the first glance. Just let it be. Let me illustrate this with a few examples of language of painting. The first one, I think everyone know this painting, right? It's, it's from the school a program, and I think some of you even wrote the, the uh, 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 composition about it. This is kind of storytelling. Storytelling language, very close to literature, very easy to understand. Look at the emotions of this poor guy, mother, dog, 
it's so easy to read, right? It's, it's, this one is uh, require just a little bit of attention. That's why it's in its school program, by the way. The next language I would like to show you is language of symbols. This one is bulk, uh, the red furniture. You see chairs, table, white tablecloth, bottle of wine. But that's not relaxing picture. You see some tension here, isn't it? It looks like in the room there was a quite tough conversation a few minutes ago and you feel like the furniture remember this conversation and some key decisions being made like black and white here uh, and those chairs, they are continuing to talk and you might feel this, isn't it? And that's interesting and that requires some imagination for you. The next language which I'd like to share with you, it's uh, that's addressing to your feeling. It's one hop irises. First, you might look at the picture from the higher scale to look at the music to the main melody, and you see this blue color is developed. This melody is developed from the bottom right corner to the to the left then you have a solo of the white color white flower uh, with the great development of the blue color to the right it's kind of this direction and the rhythm of the leaves supporting this it's not boring it's really interesting it's kind of music you can you can feel it then you can come to closer to the to the painting if it's allowed of course in the museum and see 